Kumar Singh sir, who is one of our pass out and officer in charge hostel of first year cadets. He have he have taught us uh, steam engineering and boiler. So now we will know what is his experience in this arena. Hello, sir. Good morning, everybody. What exactly do you mean by this arena? I mean, sir, the modern making part of it? No, sir. We are uh, here to know about what is your experience in maritime uh, maritime field, sir. Maritime field means I have been a marine engineer for a very long time. Yes, sir. Nearly 25 years. So it has been a good experience on ship. And then when I changed over my uh, job from a marine engineer to a marine faculty, it was a drastic change. And uh, coming back to the cadets was really living my past as uh, I, I, I would have done in this particular institute. And I always thought whatever I could not get, I should be able to I should be able to provide it to you all. Sir, being a YC hostel first year, uh, there is a lot of psychological changes among the cadets when they arrive here and when they uh, become pass out from the first year and then come to second year. What are the challenges which you feel uh, dealing with the first year cadets of this institution when they come from an entirely different domain? First of all, they all come as boys. They, they hardly have uh, uh, any experience. They feel they are all very secured when they were at home. And once they come into this particular field, they have got no idea what awaits them. And for this particular new life, they have to prepare themselves from the very basics. They have got no idea what the seniors are, how people are going to uh, uh, look up to them, how the training they are going to be imparted over here, what all things they are going to face. Maybe they have never faced something called a water logging or a, a mosquito menace. And suddenly when they come into this particular uh, hostel and they find that all these particular things await them, they are a bit uh, taken aback, surprised. But gradually from uh, boys, they achieve their adulthood. They start become maturing themselves. And uh, it takes time from uh, becoming, turning into a butterfly from a caterpillar, but it does over a period of time. Thank you, sir. Sir, last question. Today is uh, National Maritime Day. And uh, from morning, you have been experiencing a lot of events. And most importantly, today is model making competition. You have been observing this competition for quite a long time. So, can you tell about your experience in this, uh, in this uh, model making competition? The cadets, they are very enthusiastic in their uh, sixth semester and uh, they try to imbibe a lot of knowledge what they have got in this particular institute. And also, uh, through the uh, various experiences they get from uh, people who visit this particular institute and try to impart their knowledge in making uh, various types of models, which uh, very senior uh, pass out students and uh, eminent personalities from various fields come and uh, appreciate, see that, what they have done. They give their uh, uh, inputs how those particular things can be improved and also they encourage them for uh, doing something uh, of this particular magnitude which uh, is within their reach. It is, it is a great, great experience for them too and uh, a very good uh, inspiration for the boys who get uh, a first hand uh, your uh, knowledge uh, from the people, the visiting uh, uh, eminent personalities who come to this particular institute during this particular Thank you, sir. Sir, can, uh, would you be kind enough to give any message to the budding marine engineers of India who are watching this video? Of course. You are the pride of our institute and wherever you go, you are Indian ambassadors. Carry the flag. Let everybody know that you are made of steel and you should be prepared to take up any type of challenge that is given to you. Thank you, sir. A very enthusiastic speech by 
uh, Arun Kumar Singh sir, a very good motivator and a very strict uh, uh, officer in charge of our college. And uh, uh, I, I have forgotten to ask one last question, sir. You have taught us uh, steam engineering, sir. So this subject has a lot of confusion among the uh, students who are now studying in class 11th and 12th. What should we study? Uh, what is the need of steam engineering in maritime domain? No knowledge goes waste. Let's start from there. You gain a knowledge and sometime or the other it comes back into fashion again. Tomorrow, if the technology in steam engineering it increases and we get much more output than what we are getting today, who knows? Steam engineering will be one of the things that uh, mariners would be seeing in in the uh, uh, not if not in near future in long uh, time uh, uh, in the marine industry if they if they keep on staying in the marine industry they may see steaming engines coming back or the steam turbines coming back as far as the propulsion is uh, uh, is uh, uh, your uh, machineries are concerned we have got no idea about it how technology develops in the future thank you sir thank you thanks a lot for your precious time which you have given to make us a this video. Thank you sir. Thank you very much. Yes. And all the very best to you. Yes, sir. We'll see.